Have you went out to feed your chickens and all of a sudden you discover this? I know your first thought, or my first thought was something's got my chick, one of my chickens and killed it and got into my coop. Uh, second thing is what's going on? And uh, this is probably the number one question I get asked about chickens. Uh, I get at least one email a year, maybe two. Uh, a lot of people I know ask me. A lot of acquaintances I know, you know, I see out in the town when I'm doing stuff ask me this, but uh, you know, something's wrong with my chickens. Well, there's nothing's wrong with your chickens. This is called molting, and uh, this happens every year about this time. It's something to do with the daylight and the uh, temperature change, I think. So when that does, they start to molt, and all that means when you say molt is uh, they change their feathers out once a year. So they get rid of their old feathers and they're growing new feathers. Uh, even had a guy ask me that he thought he had, uh, his chickens had mites or something because all the feathers were falling out. I said, what do you mean? He said, he asked me what he could do about it. He said, all the chickens feathers are falling. No, no, let me back up. He said, hey, something wrong with my chickens. I think they either got mites or worms or something. I said, why do you think that? He said, cause all, my, all the feathers are falling out. And it was this time of year, late fall, uh, days are getting shorter. And I said, well, that's nothing, nothing to be worried about. It's just called molting. They just change their feathers out once a year. So, and that's basically what they're doing. And, uh, I don't know if there's anything you can stop it, any way to stop it. Uh, I think these commercial egg layers, they, they change their chickens out probably once a year. And uh, so that's how they keep their production up. So I'm just a small producer, so I don't change my chickens out. I keep them uh, like this flock here that you're looking at is going on four years old. And they still lay pretty good, you know, and uh, I've got another one over there that's probably three years old. And they still lay good, and then I got one that's just one year old. And then I got some more coming up. So I try to stagger my age, and uh, I might sell some of these this year, this spring, when they come out of molt and start laying again or whatever. So, But the bad thing about molting is they take all their energy to replace their feathers. So you know what they stop doing? They stop laying eggs. So uh, I've got one egg out of this one for the last four weeks. And uh, I'll get you some close-ups. These are actually coming out of the moat, I believe. Because uh, look at this chicken right here. It's got all its feathers. Looks healthy. Uh, when they're molting, they look, I mean, they look like they've had a bad night. Because <laughs> all the feathers are gone, especially in their backsides where you really notice it to me. And there's a few here, like that white one back there. We'll go back there and look. A big flock is just starting to mold. It's kind of in the middle. Uh, they're starting to come back. And this one over here is starting. So I'm only getting, I went from about 40 eggs a day down to six. So that's kind of hard to keep your customers happy, but you know, uh, we're a family farm and these chickens are, even though we don't name them and we consider them livestock, they are part of our family. So uh, we don't really push them as hard as, uh, you know, uh, like a factory farm. Uh, this is, you know, and I get more benefits than eggs than these, you know. The eggs are a side, to me, are a side benefit. I've got these out here fertilizing my hay field. So what can you, so what can you do about the moat? Uh, I've heard, I've read and heard lots of different things like uh, feed them more protein. Uh, you can keep a, maybe keep a light in the thing and that kind of keeps them laying, but we don't do that. But as far as the protein part, I feed a high quality protein, high protein feed anyway. And uh, I've tried, even when I was feeding like a, you know, a regular protein, I tried to up it up to 22%. Uh, didn't seem to have no effect. Uh, last year I tried the, uh, those little mealworms and they were like 40% protein. I mean, not strictly feed them that, but supplement their feed and it didn't seem to help. So uh, a lot of people say, you know, feed them extra protein that speeds it up. Uh, I can't really confirm or deny that. I've got kind of marginal results. So I just keep it going and they'll go through it and, uh, uh, you know, they'll get over it and uh, they'll go back to land. So, uh, but, uh, uh, 
Now I've left, I've actually left this here for two or three days just to kind of make it more effective. Uh, if you was out in the, if you had them out in a big area, you might not even notice it. Or if you had just a regular coop that you didn't move, you would definitely notice it like this one. So I haven't moved this one in three days just for effect. And uh, I'm getting ready to move. Well, I can't move it already fed. I don't want to screw that up. So, uh, if you do anything better, if you're watching this, and this is mainly for, uh, you know, people who just get their chickens. This is mainly for beginners. I know the first time uh, uh, when we had our first got chickens, and I went up there to feed, and it was a mess like this. I thought, oh no, something's got my chickens, or something's wrong. Back then, I didn't have YouTube, so. Uh, I had to go to the book. You know, we had, we actually had books you had to open up with pages and pictures and stuff. And you know, and I read about it there. It says that they molt uh, once a year, just to change out the feathers. So, so this is that. So if you go out there and you see a bunch of, especially the small feathers, you don't see no body parts out here. Now I have at my old coop or my meat bird. I had did send something in there one time and got a and got one of them chickens and killed it in there. That's a whole different thing there. So it's a lot more gross than this. This is just feathers. So. Uh, anyway, hope this helped. If you have any questions, let me hear what you do. If you find out a way that you can help them get through molten quicker that I don't know about, uh, leave it in the comments. I'm, I'm always eager to learn and we'll pass it on. And uh, like I said, this is mainly for beginners. Uh, as a matter of fact, I got uh, a guy asked me the other day, his chickens are doing this, and he thought, well, they've quit laying. That's the, that's the thing they do, they quit laying. They take that energy that they use to produce an egg, produce more feathers, so, or replacement feathers. And I told him, man, I said, there's nothing you can do, nothing to worry about, it's just a natural thing, and uh, uh, they'll start laying again, so. Anyway, if, if you got some way that you know to help them speed up through this besides more protein uh, let me know leave a comment in the bottom in the, in the, in the, leave me a comment down below or send me an email if you have any more questions or if I've left something out here that uh, you got questions about you can send me an email it's not a big deal I don't publicize it I don't sell your name to a uh, list and I don't send you any kind of emails just I just answer the question so anyway uh, Hope this helps. Uh, I'll get you a couple pictures of my good chickens here. These are out here coming through. You can see how pretty it is. Right there. That one right there. Really pretty. Rhode Island Red. It's right here. Really like it a lot. It's a good chicken. But you can see that she's already been through the moat. Uh, turn around, baby. You can see her backside looks good. Her feathers look good. They're shiny. She's healthy looking. And uh, that's the thing. And this one right here, you can tell. I don't know if it's showing up. Well, it already moved. Now, that little barred rock right there is like just about out of it, so you can see she's missing some feathers. And that white one back here, really, she's got another week or two in hers. So, there are different stages. This old girl right here now, this is, she's all right, she's good. So, hope this was help. Hope this was entertaining. Uh, you know, don't have a heart attack. Come out here. See a few feathers around. Don't have a heart attack. There's nothing wrong. Just natural. So, uh, hey, we do a live every Monday night at 7:30. Uh, you can come over and ask all kinds of questions. You can send me an email if you want me to talk about something. You can even comment down there. We have quite sometimes quite the lively conversation. So that's every Monday night at 7:30 Eastern time. Go over and watch us. Uh, it's me and my wife. We do a, a live broadcast. Talk about kind of behind the scenes farm stuff. What we're doing. What we're planning. Uh, we answer questions, we talk about life in general, so come over and watch us. Uh, hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up. Support your local farmer. We'll see you down here in the farm in the next video.